In today's video, I will share with you the newest Amazon update that will change your entire Amazon business in 2019, so be sure that you stay tuned. Hey guys, Bashar Ketu here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. In today's video, we'll be talking about the newest update that Amazon has dropped literally just a few days ago. Now, not to, about two days ago, I received an email directly from Amazon to my seller's account's email address um, stating that there's a new update um, that just happened recently, and that was issued on the 5th of January. Um, however, I just received the email two days ago, and I really can't wait to share with you guys I am going to share with you guys or show you guys exactly the email that I received from Amazon. So let's just go ahead and jump onto my computer. Welcome back. So this is the exact email um, that I received from Amazon just a couple of uh, days ago. And as you guys could see right up here, um, it says January 14th today. Um, I'm recording the, uh, the video on January 16th. I'll be probably uploading this video, uh, you know, in the next couple of days. So, um, and it says, you know, a couple days ago. So it says, dear seller, we are pleased to inform you that as of January 5th, sellers can again list seller fulfilled items in the toys and game store. If you had seller fulfilled toys and games listings that were unavailable due to toys holiday selling guidelines, um, these listings are now available uh, to relist in your seller's account. And that's something that I have always talked about, um, especially in my videos in Q4 of last year. And um, even if you go back to, I don't know if I even had my, really my uh, my YouTube channel back in 2016 or 2017, but um, it is an issue that I had faced a couple of years back when I first started selling, where I was trying to uh, create a new listing for uh, toys and games uh, right around October of, uh, I think it was of 17, and I was having issues to get it approved simply because Amazon does not like new sellers, especially new sellers. If you are just getting into selling on Amazon and you found a great product that is in the toys and games category, which is an amazing pro uh, category, I always suggest most of my students to look into that category because it's awesome and there are a bunch of great products in there um, that you are very careful because you may you know have your product getting shipped and all of a sudden Amazon takes out your listing because it's during that time and let me explain a little bit about why that is um, <clears throat> Amazon does not like especially new sellers creating new listings for toys around Q4 and the issue with that is because Many uh, overseas sellers, mostly Chinese sellers, uh, will create a bunch of <clears throat> listings on Amazon. And because, you know, Toys and Games are the highest sold products in Q4 on Amazon, right? Because the holiday season and all that, and everyone wants to uh, gift toys, right? So what these sellers do is they create a bunch of listings for supposedly authentic, you know, products or great products, but really the quality is very cheap they're very bad uh, uh, listings they're also bad sellers <clears throat> so let's say if you have an issue with one of those products if it got shipped to you and it's got a problem you need to you know send it back or whatnot uh, they either don't respond to you or they just simply won't um, you know some uh, uh, accept your request or any of that so what Amazon started doing is that they just literally stop um, allowing especially new sellers uh, to create new listings around Q4 and or around the holidays. So now, you know, you can go back into product research in the um, toys and games category because once again, it's one of probably one of the greatest categories out there to selling products within it, right? So you guys can go do that. Um, it is always something that I personally suggest that you Create the listing exactly how you want it to appear with a description, you know, uh, features, all that, and the pictures. You don't need to worry about too much about the, you know, the back end keywords, although it's probably, you know, smart to have those already done too. But because before you submit a deposit to your supplier, it's very important that you create your listing and let it kind of sit there for a couple of weeks. Um, 
Of course, it's not going to be FBA because, you know, you don't have any products into FBA yet. But what you do is you just make it FBM. And <clears throat> and you let Amazon kind of scan through it, right, for a couple of weeks. Um, if your listing doesn't get taken down, then you're good. You can go in and submit your payment and have your product shipped. If it does, then I would rather you deal with the problems then than you getting your product shipped over. And then maybe, you know, you can never get that listing relisted and now you've got a few hundred units of a product that you can't sell sitting there you've got money you know maybe that's all you got maybe you only got a thousand dollars and you invest it all in that product and now you've got you know a thousand dollars worth of inventory that can't be sold and you don't have any more money to maybe go out there and look for another product so that's just something that i personally suggest but anyhow for the sake of this video um you know you guys can now uh look in the um in the toys and games category again all right guys so i hope that you guys found this video helpful um as i mentioned earlier you guys can now sell in the uh toys and games category it's an awesome awesome category to look into so definitely start researching there if you guys did find this video useful please consider subscribing also smash the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. The question of the day, what category do you personally prefer selling in? I know there are a lot of sellers that like to stick to one niche, one category, uh, like if it's beauty, if it's you know uh, toys and games or whatever the category is, um, I personally, you know, like to kind of just be all over, um, sell really whatever it sells. But what is your category that you like selling in? Please drop that in the comment section below. Also, let me know if there's any other topics you guys want me to cover in my channel. As I explained before, I do talk about Amazon FBA and other relatable topics, typically about making money online. Once again, guys, the shark to here, Amazon FBA seller from beautiful San Diego. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.